What's up, YouTube? It's Matt Look here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make an ISO image or ISO image uh, from a folder or some files you have, and you want to make an ISO ISO image, which can be quite handy uh, for some stuff like, um, for example, you got an operating system and you got it in a folder, and you want to make an ISO, uh, you want to install it on VMware. Cause that's the video I just posted. Um, so that's why I'm taking that example you have to make an ISO image or an IMG. So I'll show you right now how to make an ISO image from a folder on. So right here I have a, a folder with uh, Windows 7 which is uh, free to download Windows 7 right now um, because it's not out yet and it's like the beta or release client. So uh, basically I'll make an ISO image of this one. So two things you need is disk utility and terminal. So these two things are already installed on your Mac, so you don't need to worry to install any software. Um, so I'm just gonna do the same little thing here. So I'll put this in the description. You'll see why later. So basically, uh, we're gonna start disk utility. So let's start disk utility. It's quite simple. I mean, you already got it in your utilities. Uh, folder. So then you want to go in File, New, Disk Image from Folder. Right here you want to select the folder you want to make an image of. So for me it's Win7, Windows 7. So I'm going to hit Image. Then here you want to say how you want to call it and then where you want to save it. And then here this is quite important. The image format you have to choose DVD, CD, Master. Inscription, uh, encryption None. Well, yeah, if you want, but I recommend none. And then uh, just save the file. So this can take a while. So when the creating is finished, it's going to automatically uh, do something else, which is going to be converting. So right here, that was creating uh, that finished, and then converting is starting automatically, so you don't need to click on anything right now. So this is going to take a while again. Depends on the file size, obviously. So right now, it's almost finished converting. So this key, uh, when it's finished converting, you're going to end up with the .cdr image. So now it just finished converting. So once it's finished, you can just quit out disk utility. Uh, so right now, you ended up with this file. So um, Windows or your file name .cdr. And for some people, this is not for me, but um, I don't know why. But there is a possibility there is a space between the Windows 7 and the the dot so just remove that space if it's there but normally it shouldn't so then you need to uh, open up terminal so um terminal so if you terminal can be dangerous in which way you use it but if you follow an instruction carefully there should be there shouldn't be any problem so right here I've got some code uh, you need to enter so I'll put this in the description obviously uh, so basically first off you need to enter CD uh, wiggle or dash or whatever slash and then desktop with capital D so I'm just gonna make this bigger for you I hope you can see that even if it's not that clear so there you go I just made it a little bit bigger because it was kind of annoying though this is really long so I'll just short it up so right here I hope you can all read that so just uh, do the thing the first phrase so CD wiggle slash desktop capital D hit enter now you're gonna see it's desktop here so it's on your desktop and then you wanna add this code HD utility so I'll just make that bigger for you that's kinda small so uh, HD utility or util and then make hybrid dot ISO dot uh, dash Joliet space dash O and then master master so I'll tell you what the master is because you're not supposed to hit master obviously. So I just copy it to O and then the master is basically uh, the file name so you're not supposed to write master. Let me explain. So here after the dash O then you want to do space and then as in the thing I did in the description master you should replace master by um, your file name you want to call it. So for example ISO you want to call it for me it's going to be capital win then seven then dot iso then space then win seven dot cdr so this last thing 
win7.cdr must be the exact same name as the file we just made. Okay, so that's quite simple. And then hit enter. So now it's gonna create. So it's gonna take us. So it's gonna do some stuff. Um, so that won't pop up. The thing that, uh, that just po uh, popped up won't pop up for you normally. So right now, uh, do not quit the app. So uh, you'll see it's making dots every second. Just wait till it's finishing making dots. So do not quit out terminal even if the ISO image is already created. Okay, so that's just a little note. Uh, so after it's finishing making all those dots, uh, you'll see you come back to your desktop so that basically means it's as finished making the ISO image so you can quit out terminal so just quit that um, and if it uh, asks you if you want to save it or not that means it's not finished yet so just cancel that but normally if you quit out terminal uh, it should be done so uh, here you've got the ISO image it's working great uh, let me open it to show it's working so this this thing shouldn't pop up for you, so that's only if you have crossover. So this is the ISO image with all my files I had uh, at the start, so you can see here, if I put this in uh, thing mode, uh, you see I exactly have the same files. So um, that's basically it, so uh, that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching, please leave a comment, rate, subscribe, and yeah, that's it for me, peace.